We're here on One Bills Live as well, so welcome in. And time now to turn to John Feliciano, who's uh, commenting on his new three-year contract. Man, to be honest, I didn't want to go anywhere. Um, I love the city of Buffalo. Uh, and that guy behind me is kind of my guy, so uh, it was kind of the easy decision. Were you concerned at all? Obviously, they made a bunch of moves, bringing back Matt, bringing back Daryl. Um, were you ever concerned that maybe understanding where their, their cap number was, uh, there just may not be room? Uh, yeah, uh, there was definitely – it was definitely uh, not a fun free agency. Um, they didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, but luckily, we got a triple B over there, big brother Bean. No one, no one, no one what to do. So uh, thank God for being, huh? Hey, glad to have you back, man. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey, John, congrats on coming back to Buffalo. Hey, um, how are you? I'm wonderful. How are you doing? Doing good. Looks like you're in the sun. I'm jealous. Buffalo's still <laughs> a little bit cold. Um, but <laughs> Just with Daryl Williams coming back, you coming back, I mean, Dion, of course, is going to be in Buffalo. Cody Ford's going to be healthy. What do you think just about basically the five and, of course, Mitch Morse coming back together for this upcoming season? What is that going to do for the group? What is that going to do for yourself and for Josh? Um, that's huge. Whenever you can keep the same core group of guys around for m multiple years, uh, it helps everything gel. It helps us get, we will be able to just get to the point a lot easier. We, we know being, we're being us, I think me and Mitch, this will be our third year in, in the, in the system, Cody and, and there are, there's going to be a second. So we all got, we all are familiar with the system. So when things pop up, it's, it's going to just streamline the solution a lot easier. What was Josh's reaction when he found out that you would be, staying in buffalo um so i called him and then just smiled at him and then hung up and then he called back and i ignored it and then i was just giving messing with him a little bit uh but he was he was super psyched he uh he was happy that's awesome we're excited too thanks john thank you hey uh john mike uh, catalana in rochester congratulations um thank you mike when you're in this spot, um, there's nothing that seems to get leaked out about how negotiations might go or whatever. Is that something in your position that you communicate to your agent? Is that something the bills prefer? Because really, until Matt's story came out, you know, and then got confirmed that you had signed, there was really nothing. Is that something as a player you say, I, I don't want that out there? Um, not necessarily. I, I think... Uh... Um, I don't think that there was not a lot of messing around with us. We, we both sides had a lot of respect for each other and, um, uh, it was very respectful the whole way through. And, um, I think, uh, it didn't, things were just, you know, we we're just talking just casually. And then, uh, when it got serious, it got serious quick and, and it got, it got, it got handled pretty quickly. And when it got serious at that point, if you would have gotten to today, how would that have changed things? I mean, you did not, but was it, mm -hmm. did you feel like it was a deadline, like in terms of saying, hey, let's get this done before Monday? Um, I don't know how things would have been different, um, but I think both parties wanted it done yesterday. And um, I think we, we've got both got to a place where we all felt comfortable and happy. And um, now it's just, I get, I'm excited to just, uh, you know, thank, shout out to the Pagulas and Bean and, and McDermott and, and the whole organization, man. Um, I'm just excited to be back and I feel, I feel lucky to, to be in Buffalo and, and to be a part of a team that uh, a lot of people in the NFL, you know, like to talk about it being a family. Um, but here in Buffalo and in the Bills organization, they really back it up. Great, thank you. Big Mongo, Mookie Hawkins, Waffle Sports 1080, man. Congratulations. Mookie, how you doing? How you doing? Thank you. I'm doing good, man. And um, throughout this journey, man, you faced a lot of adversity. I mean, homelessness, hunger, 
the death of your best friend yesterday pretty much solidified that perseverance. So like, how were you able to, um, you know, face that negative and turn it into a positive? Um, thanks, man. Uh, it's just, um, I'm just lucky, man. A lot of people has had a lot of worse things happen to them. And, um, I just try to take my past and, and let it fuel me. And, and, uh, when I'm out there playing, I think my anger kind of shows out there. Absolutely, man. And, um, you know, how much has this culture, this growth mindset that coach McDermott talk about made you feel, feel at home? Um, man, the, the relationship I was able to, to get with coach, uh, this season, it really, I believe when I was hurt and, um, the way he stuck by me and the, the conversations we had, the, there was tough conversations. There were, there were great conversations. There were, he was just there throughout the whole thing. And, uh, I believe our relationship, uh, just, just, just took off from there. And, um, that was one of the main reasons I wanted to come back. Uh, just knowing I have a guy that that's, that's in my corner and, uh, a guy that we both see the, the game the same way, both see it winning the same way. And then, uh, so having that as the foundation, big baller bean who who's out here freaking doing wizard stuff. And, uh, and then I got my guy Dave's and, and that big goofy guy behind me. So, and it, it's a, it's a, it's a good time to be in Buffalo. Absolutely, man. Wish you nothing but the best. Do work, son. Thank you. <laughs> hey, John, John Warrell with the AP. Uh, congrats on the deal. Um, Thank you. Going yeah, uh, and going back to you know all you know the praise that you you you've given to to, to Bean on how he's um, put this or, or maintained and in, in keeping this team together um, this off season. What do you make of of just the methodical approach he's taken? You weren't here in 2018 when he worked his way up, you know, the draft order and and, and made a whole bunch of free agent signings. But what do you make of just the way he's progressed in building this team and keeping this team together? Um, I think the, the thing that that sets him apart is he's a real dude. Uh, what he tells you is what it is. He he's not trying to like pull some some snaky stuff behind your back. He's not. He's going to give you the real and uh, and players respect that. And uh, he's always around. You see. I see being on probably every day when I'm in the building and uh, he is just a guy that uh, players respect because he's not just upstairs pulling the strings. He's, he's actually, he's actually down there. And, and just lastly, because maybe, I don't know, three, four years ago before Sean and Sean, even the first year when McDermott got here, um, I'm sure there were free agents who were hesitant of coming to Buffalo. How, in, in your mind, in your view, having been in Oakland and 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 what have you, how ha do you see that perception is changing? Um, I mean, I think when you have a guy like Josh Allen leading your franchise with a guy that players can trust like Bean and, 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 and McDermott. Um, honestly, that's where it starts. And uh, I think that's why you see a lot of us coming back and, and taking less money or whatnot, just to be able to go to work every day and know that we're all going, we're all truly going for the same goal. Uh, a lot of organizations will, We'll, 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 we'll say, you know, it's all about winning. Um, but at nut cutting time, they do some other things. Um, so I think that the biggest attraction besides Josh Allen is, uh, you know, you're going to be in an organization that's in it for the right reasons and, and is doing it right. That's a good phrase, nut gutting. Um, thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, John, this is Jay Skrewski with the Buffalo News. You uh, mentioned there uh, the idea of taking less money to uh, to return to a situation. Do you feel like 
uh, in, in your circumstance here that you did that maybe took a little bit less than what you could have gotten on the open market? Uh, probably, probably a little less. Um, but money is only so much as like, what if I, I could have made a couple extra here and there somewhere else, but would I have the same structure I would, if I would, if I would have left, probably not. Um, so, you know, having like i said being in, in mcdermott you know on my side and also having young goofy behind me um it's pretty great you uh you, you've talked a lot about the continuity and the ability of this front office to bring guys back uh, and so far it's been a success in that regard but what in your mind needs to be done uh, for this team to take the next step? Because, you know, for all the great things that you accomplished, you, you did fall a little bit short of what your goal was. So how does this team, you know, build from that and, and advance beyond that game? Yeah, well, every year is a different year. So, I mean, we're going to be starting from scratch next uh, this upcoming season. So, I mean, we got to do everything better, uh, run the ball better. Uh, I mean, keep our passing game where it's at. I mean, we got – uh, our communication can be better. There's a lot of things that we did that, you know, we, we have extremely t gifted people on the outside. So they made, they, they make up for uh, the small things that, that, that we weren't so good at. So we got to just keep working on the small things and uh, uh, have an understanding that it's a completely new season. So what, whatever we, what we did last year was nice and all, but uh, it was like for not was, we didn't, we didn't finish the job. Thanks, John. Hey, John, Sal Capaccio here, WGR. Good to see you. Congratulations, man. Thanks, Sal, man. How you doing? I'm good. Uh, looks really warm where you are, just so we all know where you uh, talking to us from. You there? Yeah, I'm in uh, <laughs> South Florida. I see. Southwest, Southwest nice. regions nice. in my backyard. <laughs> Very nice. I get it now. Hey, um, there was some there was some question whether or not maybe you thought you to you'd rather play center or guard. It didn't matter. Um, so can you kind of just um kind of clear that up? If um you thought maybe there would be a chance somewhere to play center or to play guard, did you care where you played, or do you just want to just play somewhere and be versatile? Um, I might have just been messing around just uh, to gotcha. to ruffle some feathers. Uh, I want to win. Um, and I I want to. And I wanted to be here, so uh, I got both my my wishes. Um, wherever wherever this team needs me, um, like I said, since I've been here, um, I believe I can play anywhere on the line. Um, so wherever I can help the Buffalo Bills win a championship is uh, where I'll play. I know you talked about your relationship with Coach McDermott. What about Bobby Johnson and your relationship with your offensive line coach? Yeah, I mean that's my guy. Um, I've been in the league for this. Is, I'm going on my seventh year. I've been with him for five of those those years. Uh, well, will be six. So uh, he's a guy I trust. Um, our, we know our our families. We're, we're both. We both want the same thing. Uh, it, it, it's huge having him around. Thanks, John. Congrats again, man. Thank you. What's up, John? Uh, congratulations. Um, before yeah, you thank you you're welcome before you resigned daryl resigned uh, a couple days beforehand and before you knew what was going to happen with that you tweeted out congratulations to him and i was curious like you know with your situation in flux i mean you still reached out to him you play next to him for you know half mm -hmm. of the season what's that relationship like and what's the possibilities going into next year with you guys maybe building even more uh continuity between the two of you yeah, uh, Sam Daryl, that's my guy. He's a, he's a great dude. Um, uh, he deserves everything. He works so so dang hard, and uh, him and his wife met. They, my wife and his wife, became good friends. Um, so, man, Daryl's a great dude, and, and I'm happy that we we got him to stay. Mm -hmm. And how much confidence do you have? I'm sure you've talked to some of your O line mates in the in the last 24 hours about the potential of, you know, maybe you five that are under contract right now that really haven't gotten a chance to play together for any like, ex like extended period of time going into mm -hmm. 2021 and being even better. 
Yeah. Um, so drawing back from my, my Oakland days, we, we had the same group of guys for an extended amount of time. And, uh, it's just something to, it, there's a lot to it when you know what your the guy next to you is going to do, you know, where his hand's going to be, you know, how far you got to throw a twist off. It's, there's a lot of little things and being able to be with the same group, it, it's, it's, it's huge. And, um, I'm excited to get back there and work with them because they're all dogs and they all, they're all want to work and they all want to get better. So I mean, it's an exciting time. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, man. All right, John, that's all for today. Thanks. All right. Thank you. All right. That's uh, John Feliciano's press conference with the media. Uh, John really loose today. Uh, <laughs> taking a yeah. draw on a uh, select beverage during the oh, – gotta love it, man. The Sal guy, asked is, a, him where he the was guy and, is a press conference all-star. Yeah, he, 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 <laughs> Sal asked him where he was in South Florida. He, he bent down out of frame, picked up, took a long sip out of a beer with a, <laughs> with a twist of lime in it, and he's like, wow, it's good down here. Oh, I love so that guy. Go, yeah, I love that guy. And totally ghosted Josh Allen. Totally. That is so the best. <laughs> That he's, is the best. He signs. He agrees to terms on a contract with the Bills. FaceTimes Josh to let him know, but all he does is smile on the screen, then hangs hang up. up. Josh calls him back, and he hangs up. He ghosted him. <laughs> he's totally messing with this guy. Oh my gosh, he is so classic. Uh, we are going to talk to uh, the guy they call Mongo here in just a minute. 